Oh no. My Minecraft world has been ransomed by the anonymous hacker 4chan. If only I had backed up my precious files before downloading Shrek 5 from the dark web. Whatever will I do? Stop. Don't let this be you. Follow along with me and let's back up our game save files. But first, I have terrible news. Todd Howard and Beth Jezos are holding me captive in Minecraft. The only way to set me free is by smashing that like button. All right, for the sake of this example, we're going to be backing up our Skyrim, Minecraft, and Grand Theft Auto V save files. However, these steps can be applied to any game on your PC. Before we get started, let's make a new folder for us to place our backup save files into. Right click your desktop or your location of choice, then select new and folder. Let's name this folder something like save game backups. Okay, our first destination is in the documents folder. Right click the windows icon and select file explorer. Then under this PC, select documents. It may also be in your quick access menu. Here in the top level of documents, you may see folders relating to the games that you own. If you do, check inside them for any signs of game save data. For example, in this Rockstar Games folder, we will find a GTA 5 folder. Inside of that, we see profiles, which contains our Grand Theft Auto 5 save data. Let's copy this whole profiles folder into our backups. In order to keep things tidy, let's rename this folder to GTA 5 saves. For the next step, let's return to our documents folder. In here, locate My Games. This is a very common location for save files to be stored. You might have a lot more games in here than I do. I'll be backing up my Skyrim saves. Though, I recommend you repeat the process for all of the games you have in this location. Double click Skyrim, and as you can see, there's a folder conveniently named Saves. I'm simply going to select this folder, right click, and copy. Now navigate back to your backup folder, and paste the saves into it. Again, it's in your best interest to keep things neat and organized, so let's label this folder appropriately. The next location we're going to check is a little more obscure, and you might not have even known it existed. Return to your file explorer, we have to find the users folder. This is usually on the same drive as the operating system, typically the C drive. It's usually listed here on the left, but if it's not, select this PC, then the C drive. Now let's open the folder titled users. In here, find the folder corresponding to your account. For me, that's the one called Zerum. Now, here at the top of the Explorer, select View. In this drop-down menu, check the box that says Hidden Items. This allows us to see folders which were previously hidden. For instance, this App Data folder, which appears slightly grayed out. Go ahead and open it. Here we should see three folders, local, local low, and roaming. It's relatively common for games to place their save files in any of these three locations. Note that these folders are typically hidden as a protective measure. Don't be nervous, but just be mindful while you're in here. Let's start from the top by looking in each of these folders for anything relating to our games. Nothing for me here in local, but if you see a folder named after one of your games, then go ahead and open it and check inside for anything labeled saves or something along those lines. We will navigate back to app data and check the next folder, local low. Again, there's nothing for me in here, but if you see any folders named after your games, then open them and check for save files. If you do find any, simply copy them and then paste them into your backup folder as we have been doing, making sure to label them properly. Finally, let's check the third folder, roaming. In my experience, it's pretty common to find saves here. Already, we can see the .minecraft folder, which holds my saved worlds. I'm going to open this and find a folder called saves. Right click it and copy. Return to your backup folder and paste the files into it. You already know what I'm gonna say, let's rename this folder. That just about does it. But if you have a lot of games on your PC, then you likely found a lot more files than I did. If you haven't found any of your games, then there's only one thing else left to do, and that is to search it on Google. But some other places you might want to check would be in the game folder itself. This isn't very common, but it might be worth checking. Using Steam, you can find the game's files by right-clicking it, selecting Manage, then Browse Local Files. You could also open your file explorer, select this PC, then in the search bar, type the name of your game. This might take a long time to finish searching. 
and will probably return a massive list of files, but it might be the only way of you locating saves for some more obscure titles. Also note that if your game uses Steam's cloud save storage, then you can download the saves from Steam servers themselves. This can be a lifesaver if your local files were corrupted or accidentally deleted. To view your Steam Cloud saves in your browser, visit this link provided in the description of the video. You of course will have to be signed in to view your saves. Now that you have all of your saves backed up neatly into a separate folder, it's time to protect them with your life. I recommend zipping this folder by right-clicking it, hovering over Send To, and selecting Compressed Folder. This may take a while depending on how large your backup folder is. Now that we have our saves zipped, let's back this thing up all over the place. Send it to a spare email, or upload it to Google Drive. Put it on a USB and mail it to your grandma. I don't care what you have to do, the point is, do not rely on any single location. The more places you have your important files saved to, the safer they are. If you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe for more content like this. And remember, if you don't send this video to seven of your friends, then tonight, Todd Howard and Beth Jezos will corrupt all of your game files with a single update. So don't let that happen to you. Now get out of here, you little rascal.